we're going to Kalapana Cafe at the end of the road there, at the Red Road, where the lava flows into the ocean. We're going to have a little something to drink, and I'm going to share the Blue Eagle Wave Spell, which is the wave spell of 13 days to create the new vision with our mind. Aloha, welcome to Hawaii. We are here at the Kalapana Cafe at the end of the Red Road on the Big Island and we will weave with you the Blue Eagle Wave Spell, the Blue Magnetic Eagle, which is the spell to create the new vision with our mind. So I want to remind you that we are over here on the uh, 18th of January. We are into the Resonant Moon of Attunement, which the three key words of the Red Moon is I channel and I inspire attunement. And we're going to be starting on the 18th of January, the Blue Magnetic Eagle, guided by Vision Power Double. The affirmation of the day is I unify in order to create attracting mind. I seal the output of vision with the magnetic tone of purpose, and I'm guided by Vision Power Double. So I'm going to put it here on my wave spell, which is the magnetic day. And um, now I'm going to share with you where it's going to be here on the Zolkin. This is the Blue Eagle. Man is the Mayan name for the Blue Eagle. And we're going to be starting here on the 18th of January. And we're going to be weaving all this cycle. And we're going to come back here until this cycle here. So this is a cycle of 13 days. And I will be sharing with you the energy of each of these days so we can synchronize together. And you can see how it attunes with you in your reality and in your life. And to be honest with you, create the new vision with our mind. That means also we have to let go of old ways and old belief system that we had been programmed to do. So blue magnetic eagle. And then on the 19th of January will be the yellow lunar warrior, lunar tone, which is I polarize, I stabilize the challenge. And the yellow warrior is I question with intelligence and fearlessness. So the affirmation of the day will be, I polarize in order to question, stabilizing with fearlessness. I seal the output of intelligence with the lunar tone of challenge. And I am guided by elegance, which is going to be the yellow star is the guide of the day. And it will be, I beautify art and elegance. So. This is going to be the 19th of January, 2013. On the 20th of January, 2013, we'll be entering the red electric earth, uh, the, thir the th third tone. And the red earth, the three key words are, I evolve, navigating with synchronicity. And electric is, I activate my service. So the affirmation goes like this. I activate in order to evolve, bonding synchronicity. I seal the matrix of navigation with the electric tone of service. And we will be guided on that day by the power of birth, which is a nurture being for birth. So a new beginning here, activating our service. So I want you to remember that on the 18th of January, uh, it will be the day for you to make a list of the vision that you would like to manifest. Uh, because in this cycle, you will see how the cycle of manifestation arrives. So new vision, new project, 18th of January. Make sure that you plant your seeds, make your list, and you will harvest what you planted 10 days later. I will go on with this. Now, on the, top, 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 on the 21st of January, we will enter the white self-existing mirror. And the mirror, the key words is I reflect order and endlessness. And self-existing is I define, I measure, and I give the form. So the affirmation goes like this. I define in order to reflect, measuring order. I seal the matrix of endlessness with the self-existing tone of form. So I'm going to put it down here. And we will be guided on that day by the white wizard, which is timelessness. I enchant and I'm receptive to timelessness. So I'm going to place the guide of the day over here. Looks like a nice game. Mm -hmm. And then on the 22nd of January, we will be entering the Blue Storm Day. And the Blue Storm is I catalyze energy for self-generation. Mm 
Mm, nice. And overtone is I empower and I command the radiance. So the affirmation, if we weave it all together, goes like this. I empower in order to catalyze, commanding energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation with the overtone tone of radiance. And we will be guided on that day by the blue hand, which is, I know, the accomplishment of healing. So we will be uh, catalyzing energy for healing. And then we go on the sixth day, which is going to be the yellow sun, the yellow rhythmic sun, which is uh, I enlighten life with universal fire. And rhythmic is the day where we organize. So the, what's my purpose? What's my challenge? How do I activate my service? How do I give the form? How do I empower and command the radiance? And on this day, which is the 23rd of January, will be the day where we organize and we balance and we bring equality in order to enlighten life with universal fire. So I will put it here. And the guide of the day will be also the yellow sun, which is double enlightened life with fire. So you will feel like organization that day and a lot of fire. So we want to use that fire to be building new ways, weaving new energy. We don't want to destroy with all our fire unless we want to release old ways. Okay, now on the... Hmm, on the 24th of January is going to be the Red Resonant Dragon guided by space. And it is a portal day. Oh, we had a portal day here too, I forgot. So we had a portal day here and we're going to have a portal day here. These two portal days, on these days we say, I am a galactic activation portal. Spirit inspire me, spirit enter me. So we have access to a lot of cosmic wisdom. So on that day of the 24th of January will be the Red Resonant Dragon. The Resonant Dragon, the dragon, the three key words is I nurture being for a birth, for a new beginning. And it is guided by space, which is the Skywalker. Whoop. So I'm going to give you the affirmation. Resonant is the moon we are in right now. I channel, I inspire attunement. The affirmation goes like this. I channel in order to nurture, inspiring being. I seal the input of birth with uh, the resonant tone of attunement. And I'm guided by the power of space. I am guided to explore space with wakefulness. So a new beginning and uh, channeling again. And you'll be inspired to explore space. and take care of yourself and look how you can take care of people around you also to nurture being a new beginning now on the 25th of January 2013 we will be into the white galactic wind the galactic tone is I harmonize and I am a model of integrity woven with the white wind which is I communicate spirit through my breath the affirmation of the day goes like this I harmonize in order to communicate, modeling breath. I seal the input of spirit with the galactic tone of integrity. And I am guided by the power of death, the power to equalize opportunity uh, with the power of death. So this is going to be the resonant day. And then we're going to go to the 26th of January, which is going to be a Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. And it's also the full moon, Ooh, the blue solar night guided by self-generation. So the blue solar night, the blue night, the three key words is I dream abundance with my intuition. And it's going to be the tone seven, which is I pulse and I realize my intention. My intention is to dream with my intuition abundance. The affirmation goes like this. I pulse in order to dream, realizing intuition. I seal the input of abundance with the solar tone of intention. And I am guided by self-generation, the blue storm, to catalyze energy for self-generation. Okay, this one goes over here. Okay. Now, on the planetary day, this is the day we will manifest the vision that we planted here on the blue eagle. I create the new vision with my mind on the 18th of January and then 10 days later on the 27th of January is when we will harvest the manifestation of what we planted and it's going to be the yellow planetary seed planetary tone is I perfect produce the manifestation and the yellow seed is I target for the flowering of awareness 
So this is going to be on the 27th of January. Write it down in your agenda to see what you will manifest on this day as a seed. And it's going to be guided by free will. Oh, the free will, this is the yellow human. I am guided to influence with my wisdom to free will. So after we have manifested the new vision and we arrive to the flowering of this awareness, uh, then after that we let go, we release, and uh, we will be entering with the Red Serpent Day, which is going to be on the 28th of January. It's going to be spectral. Spectral is I dissolve, I release, I bring liberation. Red Serpent is I survive with my life force and instinct. And the affirmation of the day is I dissolve in order to survive releasing instinct i seal the store of life force with the spectral tone of liberation and i am guided by life force power double so i'm going to get my other little serpent here so life force power double so remember we create the new vision we empower command the radiance to catalyze energy for self-generation and here we will be dreaming our abundance manifesting the awareness, the flowering of awareness, and then releasing with the red serpent. Because after we manifest, we don't want to be attached, we just release everything. And we're going to enter the crystal day, which is the round table of the crystal day, where we invite all the earth wizards to gather on this day, because it's the day to universalize cooperation. So it is woven with the white world bridger, three keywords is our equalize opportunity with the power of debt. So the affirmation of this day will be I dedicate in order to equalize, universalizing opportunity. I seal the store of debt with the crystal tone of cooperation. So we're going to be guided by the white mirror, which is to reflect order and endlessness. So that would be a nice day for you to gather. And you will see it. Actually, people gather all around you without even knowing all of this. It's all an intuitive energy. When you're in the flow, you will see that it always um, almost concord with what you're going. And then we're going to close the blue eagle wave spell with the blue cosmic hand. The cosmic tone is the 13th tone, the 13th day of the wave spell. And uh, we will, this is the affirmation of the day. The blue hand is I know the accomplishment of healing. So the affirmation goes like this. I endure in order to know transcending healing. I seal the store of accomplishment with the cosmic tone of presence, and I'm going to be guided by magic. I'm going to be guided to play the illusion with magic. So this is how it goes. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the wave spell of the Blue Eagle that starts on the 18th of January and closes on the 30th of January. And we hope that it will give you a bit of uh, information how to synchronize with all of us. And actually, um, doing the affirmation every day, seeing it, writing it, activates your DNA, activates your intelligence. And if you do it uh, in a period of 260 days, uh, it gives you the opportunity to become really telepathic and much more connected with everything around you. So, um, from the Big Island of Hawaii, thank you very much for being with us. I would like to introduce you the Star Traveler, the 13 Moon Almanac of Synchronicity. We are now, right now in the blue resonance storm from the 26th of July 2012 to the 25th of July 2013. So this uh, Star Traveler 13 Moon Almanac and this little pocket calendar of the 13 Moon of Peace Synchronometer, you can get these uh, books at the Law of Time. Now I, uh, I want to introduce you also the 13 Moon Natural Time Calendar, which you can purchase at 13moon.com. And it is a really magnificent calendar to follow the synchronicity. It's very simple, beautiful images. And in the back, you have all the significance of the 13 tones and the 20 tribes with the three key words. So this is what I've been weaving with you, ladies and gentlemen. It's really, really simple. After you learn how to weave these affirmations, um, the virtues comes in and uh, it's happening. So I hope it was hopeful for you. We try to do it as quick as we can and um, have your beautiful wave spell and give, stay in touch and tell us how it went for you. Aloha.
Why resist to enchantment?